So hey guys, what's up? This is Ezekiel, and welcome back to the next episode of the Battle Cats Evolution Series. Yeah, so in the last video, we talked about the Ten Cat, and today we're going to be taking a look at a somewhat, you know, popular demanded request from you guys that you want to see this particular cat right here, which happens to be the Swordsman Cat, aka the one cat that does like a ridiculous amount of damage to red enemies specifically. So to be totally honest, I was actually going to cover this guy a little bit later, just because um, I'm trying to vary it up between rare cats, super rare cats, special cats, etc, etc, but um, because you guys really want to see this cat, like, so, so much, um, I just figured that, you know, why, why, why not, like, let's just uh, take a look at this guy right here, it's actually pretty um, good as well for the particular uh, uh, available stage that is available to us for the, at least in the story mode, also that was a text from the lovely Lux sending me a picture of her Sims house that she totally, legitimately made, did not cheat whatsoever, she got us. 100%. Um, anyways, so the Swordsman Cat, trained in a certain game to become a magic swordsman, a very effective battle cat. Fire Sword does massive damage to red enemies, so I don't know, just like the Swordsman Cat somewhat reminds me of like games like Final Fantasy, um, that sword game, or not the sword game, sorry, like that fantasy game that uh, Chucky Connor played on his channel a while ago. I forget what it was called, but it had like the, uh, basically had like the sort of uh, world where it's all taking place on like the, um, the body of like a dead robot from like an ancient battle from way before and then they're fighting against robots, celestial, stuff like that, so that's what it reminds me of uh, legitimately. But um, its abilities right here is that it specializes against red enemies, does uh, massive damage, so it does times four the damage that it would normally do, and it only and it also uh, doesn't only specialize. I'm about to like mix up the words right there. I'm getting ahead of myself right here, but uh, it attacks single units as well. So yeah, Swordsman's Cat is uh, pretty cool. Now the next evolution right here is the Sword Master Cat. So this is just like uh, I don't know. Imagine like in the anime, he's got the kid with like the little stick, and then he grows up to be like the Master Swordsman, kind of like Link or. Or, I don't know, Shadow Link, let's say. <laughs> Mastered the art of a dual wielding. Actually, no, like that first phrase where they're just instantly reminds me of Kirito from Sword Art Online. And I know that, you know, there's a lot of mixed opinions on like the anime, like it sucks or it's good or whatever. I just think that it's all right. I mean, I'm not like choosing sides right here. I just kind of like the anime for what it is. Um, but anyways, also can use magic. Scary combination, I can imagine. Flame swords do massive damage to red enemies, so... You know, it's kind of neat because, like, the, the look of it sort of reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed, like Ezio and all the other assassins that came before and after him, just because, you know, has, like, sort of that hood effect. I don't really know if that's supposed to be his hood or if that's supposed to be his hair. I've always thought that it kind of looks like his hood, but I've been told that it actually is supposed to be his hair, but, you know, it's debatable on either side. But, yeah, the Sword Master Cat uh, right there. But this is the real deal right here, this particular cat, the Elemental Duelist Cat. So in tune with his blades that he can now command the forces of nature themselves. Wow, you can't just give that particular description to like any cat like right here. If a cat has this description, like you know it's really really freaking powerful. Flames do massive damage to red enemies, so if you're wondering why I'm so like shocked for this particular cat right here is because it's really really strong, like unbelievably so strong, like you could probably, um, if you're fighting like things like the red, uh, you know, the red dude in the seat, or like the red boars, or anything like that, I guarantee you this cat can like legitimately, maybe not 1v1 it per se, but if you have them at like in the back line sort of like assisting all the other cats, it could really help do like uh, the damage really really quickly, which is just absolutely ridiculous. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be using this cat in this particular composition right here. The first line, it's sort of a mixed variant because I don't actually have a cat combo that can give me a mega boost in mass damage just yet, so I'm going to be specializing in just uh, increasing the work cat a little bit, as well as a bit of knockback and the mass damage, and I'm just going to be focusing on using just the elemental duelist cat with some spam cats if necessary, but I don't think it's going to be necessary for this particular uh, composition right here. So we're going to start things off by going just to the red passions, and then like the first one, hard, and then we're going to move on to the insane mode and see um, if the power of the... Elemental Duelist Cat has a ridiculous name, I know. It can actually stand up to, uh, like, things like Red Boars. But for now, let's just go for, like, an initial uh, basic test right here. So, if I send out one guy, just look at this guy for a second. He literally has two Reapers. Rapers, Reapers, I think that's what it's called. Like, it's the things that you for fencing, essentially. But you have one that's flaming in blue, and the other one flaming in, like, the classic red right there. It's just, like, I don't know. The guy looks so freaking cool in this, uh, picture right here. Or in this, um... Uh, the version of himself, and I think like, uh, 
the, the previous thing that I said of him having like the hood, I think it's actually supposed to be hair because if you look at this, like it really does look like hair. So maybe I was actually wrong, but I'll always think of it kind of as a hood. That's what I've always thought it to be. But you can see that so far, he's doing not too bad. Like he's able to hold off all these guys. Remember, this guy also specializes in damage, not in defense. So obviously, He's not going to be able to like uh, just tank these like a boss, but he's able to do a significant amount of damage. So maybe what I'm going to do here instead is that I'll just start spamming these guys right here. And I'm going to assume that um, like just a line of these guys should be enough to hold these guys off. Yeah, so the red pigs are going to die no problem to this. But for the red rhino, I'm not too sure. I mean, I don't know, I'm, pr I'm pretty confident in the power of these guys, but... Uh, Sometimes I'll, I'm a little bit unsure because like they just don't have the HP to sustain themselves. So think of them more or less as like glass cannons. So um, at the moment, it looks like they're doing pretty good. I might have to start spamming the wall cats very soon. Might. Yeah, like right about here. Okay, I'll do the little laser thing. Okay, yeah, so you can't you can't necessarily rely on like the uh, the elemental duelist to just like completely waste the enemy because obviously they're gonna need like a little bit of support, especially when they're grouped up like this, because they only specialize in single units as well. But um, you can see that really it's not too bad. Like they're literally the only thing that's really damaging these guys. Like the wall cats are there to just kind of protect them. But uh, I'm legitimately just like being this this whole level. Like I mean the the kite combos kind of has an effect as well. But more or less, you can pretty much beat this one stage with just this one cat, and maybe, maybe just the eraser cats would be enough. I don't even think like the crazed maniac eraser cats was even necessary, but I brought them anyways just to make sure. But look at that, able to clean that entire thing up. So it just goes to show that these cats are literally not a joke if you're, you know, bring them to battle. Look at the damage right there. Look at that. It's like when they're spinning in there, like flipping their swords in circles, and you see like the fiery, like. Uh, sort of flaming spherecles of death like just kind of enshrouding them is just like the coolest thing ever ah look at that and we got a red cat fruit suit which is not uh, not bad not bad um but yeah now for the real test we're going to be going to the next stage and i'm kind of not sure if i want to keep it this way because like you know i might bring one more spam cat just to make things a little bit easier and the spam cat i'm going to be going for probably um let's just say where is it yeah, but let's go for the cat burger, just because. Like, the cat burger is just one of them, like, really cool cats that you can get from the, the collabor collaboration. Oops, did not mean to go out like that. Probably... <sighs> you know, these mistakes right here. It's like when you're misclicking, and then you click, like, way too fast, and you go out into the wrong screen on accident. But now, the real test right here, or the real... Um, no, yeah, it more or less is a test. Like, so the real test <laughs> for the power of this cat, if it can actually do... Um, decently well in a scenario like this. So remember, I'm putting like the stacks up against this guy like heavily. He's the only um, main attack source that we're gonna be using, and we're not gonna use any of these because I know that we could pro potentially use the uh, the final cat, the gentleman cat, and uh, perhaps even the uh, the first cat, like the whatever he's called, like the dancer cat, I think. But uh, no, we're just gonna focus this mainly on the elemental duelist just because we can. So I'm probably gonna like increase just a little bit, wait for these guys to come a little bit closer. Or maybe even like the bigger pick because like he's kind of a threat. So probably about, hmm, let's say right about here. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna like I'm not gonna use the cat hamburgers just yet because I don't think we're gonna need them necessarily. I mean I'm pretty confident like in the wall cats. Like you can see because I don't know my racer cats are pretty high leveled, and the main racer cats are gonna be high level very soon if I just continue upgrading them. But uh, we're not gonna be playing games right here. We're just gonna go straight out for spamming these guys because I think you get the idea. Oops, I did not mean to send that guy. Okay, well it shouldn't really change the uh, the results by that much just because like this particular cat. Anyways, I forget if he actually does specialize in red units. I think so. If he does, well I guess that's gonna. Again, it's not gonna be like a, it's not a huge deal, but uh, still unfortunate enough for me. Okay, here we go, the red boars. So I believe in this level there's actually two of them. So judging by the eraser cats dying, I might actually have to spam three of these guys. Right. So I was actually kind of correct. Well, I mean they're kind of holding off just by just the one, which is kind of impressive. But uh, you know the eraser cat that could be done for that could be explained for another video and another time. We're just like at the yellow ones duels right here. So, so far, um, as long as the wall holds, it's actually doing not too bad, though, um, slowly but surely the enemies are actually breaking through. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, counting on the fact that the, the elemental duels will be able to do the damage, and you can see that right there, right there, did you see that? The red boar instantly went down before the next one actually came in to join him, so that's pretty good. So really, you can see that uh, by just using one cat, the elemental duelist, the swordsman cat in its true form, it's 
able to literally dominate over the enemies, so long as you have like the right, uh, you know, wall of cats here, because now we're, we're kind of having a, a significant surge of like the, the swordsman cats, and look at that! All these guys are down, they didn't even break the line that much, so... Just goes to show, like, this cat really does so much damage, it's like so freaking mind-blowing just how strong these guys are. But, uh, just to reiterate, Massive damage, strong, not the same thing. They don't have the extra defense when the red enemies are attacking them. They only have like the pure type, so hence the glass cannon terminology. Just in case, in case you're confused right there. But uh, just look at that. Ah, oh, absolute beauty right here. I'm not even gonna spam anything else. I'm just gonna like watch this right here because like it's so cool, you know. If you spam enough of these guys, it's just like literally an endless uh, flaming circle that sort of spins around their uh, the sides right there, and an endless blue circle as well. So it's just like the coolest thing to look at. My God. So yeah, guys, that's um pretty much gonna be it for this video. So again, to reiterate, the elemental duelist, uh, he's mostly used to be as a glass cannon. So don't expect him to survive like massive red hits against well, you know, red enemies. So He's, uh, think of him as a support character, but he does the damage, so he's more or less like, um, the damage support, if that makes sense, because there's, like, defense support, and then there's, like, um, stun support, stuff like that, so this guy is definitely in the category of, like, doing the damage. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that like button, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Battlecats Evolutions videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Woo!